Hello, everyone. Welcome to our session. We are Oda Studio. Oda Studio is a property image toolkit powered by AI. We created Oda Studio specifically for real estate images, and we are very excited to talk about different product offers that we have today. So Oda Studio was created about two years ago at MIT. Uh, myself and my two colleagues, we came together with the intention of using artificial intelligence, specifically the uh, computer vision technology in uh, some problems within the prop tech space. Uh, computer vision technology, for those of you who are not familiar with it, is the technology underlying autonomous driving. It basically allows computers to automatically detect the content of images, uh, extract information from uh, images, and, and allow uh, computers to then use these, these information to be able to automate certain tasks. And we are taking this technology and we are also relying on our image processing expertise to create a toolkit for you that allows you to uh, automate a lot of marketing and operational work that might be taking a lot of time, a lot of resources right now. Um, and the way we do it uh, is uh, across three different product categories. Um, the products that we offer are our flagship a product photo scoring and enhancement tool for real estate, which uh, allows you to automatically uh, improve the quality of your photos and make them more attractive to your uh, prospects. Um, the other tool we have is the image segmentation and classification tool, uh, which automatically recognizes the content of the photos, uh, including things like whether the photo is a bathroom, the living room, uh, the kitchen, uh, as well as the specific objects that are contained within that photo. Uh, like, is there a microwave uh, or a, a oven or a pool uh, within the photo? We take all that information and we make it accessible to you so that you can organize these photos better. Um, and the final tool that we have, which we are very excited about is our virtual staging tool. Um, and as the name suggests, it allows you to digitally stage your empty apartments with any furniture or with different kinds of furniture to be able to give your prospects an idea about how this empty apartment might look with furniture in it. So this whole toolkit is created for real estate specifically because real estate images ultimately require different kind of editing. Real estate images come with outdoor images, indoor images, object specific images, uh, and uh, each of those have different editing needs. And on top of that, uh, these images are also a lot in numbers. You know, if you are a property manager, you are perhaps dealing with thousands and thousands of photos. If you are a, running a marketplace or a third party software for property managers, you are maybe dealing with millions of photos. So we created this toolkit for you so that you can quickly integrate with it uh, and get done a lot of work that is, uh, that is causing a lot of manual uh, work and, and requiring a lot of time and resources for you at the moment. So our flagship product or the photo enhancement tool uh, automatically uh, and in a content aware way edits your photos and improves the quality of those photos. It does it in two stages. The first stage is our scoring algorithms. When your photos come in to our system, we automatically evaluate the photo in, tr in terms of uh, different improvement needs. Uh, and once we identify those, then we, we are doing custom improvements to your pictures to give them a sharper, brighter, and more vivid look in seconds. Um, we offer our photo enhancement tool both as a web app, but also as an API. So if you are a uh, you know, smaller property manager or a landlord, you might benefit from our web app uh, that can give you almost instantaneous results. If you're a larger property manager or, or a marketplace that you are dealing with thousands of photos every day, then you can use our API to get them automatically enhanced uh, you know, via our API. And the kind of enhancements that we are doing are twofold. The first part of it is quality improvement. And this is based on a, a number of quality metrics that you see on the screen. The, the color correction, perspective correction, exposure, uh, brightness. Um, we, all, we do all this by first looking at the photo again and identifying the specific needs of that photo. Uh, this photo, for instance, is suffering from uh, low resolution. So we are going to apply our super resolution uh, model to that. Another photo might be uh, you know, suffering from uh, angle uh, correction related issues and, and, and we are fixing that via our models as well. 
I'm going to show you some examples of those since uh, these needs differ from photo to photo. So as you can uh, see here, we have, a, we have a sample of photos that we have edited in the past. In this first picture, the problem that we are dealing with, which is a very common problem, is, is lighting. It's a very dark photo of a bedroom and we can rapidly improve it, give it a much lighter and, and, and fresher look so that the prospects that are consuming these photos to get information about your listings uh, can have actually access to more attractive and, and more accurate uh, visuals representing your space. Um, here in another example, uh, we are looking at a bathroom. Again, it is dealing with a number of issues, but one of the main issues is this extra tone of yellow, uh, which we are fixing again via our models very quickly. And, uh, and, and this, is a, this is an issue that is very common because of the lighting that exists in, a, in certain spaces, and also because of the kind of cameras that the photos are taken with, and we can automatically fix that. Um, the resolution problem that I mentioned with the example that we were looking at earlier, this is again an artifact of the kind of cameras that are being used for taking these photos, but uh, we can now, using these super resolution techniques, increase the pixel size within a photo uh, so that uh, you know, it is easier for the eye to look at these photos, it is more comfortable, and it's also more appealing from a prospect's point of view. Um, uh, the problem that of angle correction that I mentioned. So uh, a lot of photos have this tilted crooked look and this is not nice because this is not how human eye sees space. We see things via straight lines, not uh, via these um, tilted lines. And we can again, automatically fix this uh, within seconds uh, for thousands of uh, photos that we may have per day. Um, the different photos have different editing needs. As I said, the outdoor photos are going to come with uh, certain lighting and contrast needs that are different than indoor photos. Object specific photos are going to, again, require different kind of editing. Our models are able to detect this all. Uh, you know, in this outdoor photo, for instance, the pool is well lit, but the issue is not lighting, it is the contrast and it is, uh, you know, giving a, a more vibrant look uh, to the scene. And, and that is what we are achieving by automatically detecting that problem and applying the right kind of uh, editing to this. And these are all, again, important at the end from the point of prospects, uh, because ultimately the, uh, the, the, the prospects are looking at these photos. And if, you are, if they are the photos are the first thing that they look at to determine if they should be pursuing a particular listing, whether for rental or for buying, um, and the more appealing your photos are, obviously, the more likely that uh, prospects are going to be interested in your listings and more likely that you will be able to convert uh, those prospects sooner. So that is why the photo quality is, is, a, is a very, very important uh, uh, thing for uh, real estate marketing. And our toolkit is aiming to um, deliver that to you uh, very quickly uh, and, and, and very efficiently as well, both uh, from you know, time point of view, but also from uh, the cost point of view. And the other kind of enhancement that we are doing is style and team transfer. Um, this is especially relevant to property managers that might own a number of properties and uh, they might be interested in applying the same style and team to all the photos that they have in their portfolio um, or for uh, you know marketplaces that are uh, putting a lot of listings out every day. Some of those listings within themselves may come with photos that are inconsistent with, with each other in terms of lighting, because maybe the photo is taken at a different time of the day um, and, and, and other similar problems. So we can fix all that. We can, we can bring a consistent style to an entire portfolio of photos or uh, a photo, a, a, a listing, an individual listing by using our models again. And, uh, with this kind of editing, all we need is a reference photo that uh, reflects your uh, preferred style and theme. We are going to look at that reference photo, identify the specific colors and lighting and other um, you know, elements that exist within that photo, take them and apply them to uh, a portfolio of photos that we may have. We do that very quickly and we again offer this both via our web app and API. Uh, depending on the kind of volume that you have, you might be interested in a different uh, one of those solutions. So, as I said at the beginning, there is a, a there is a this deep AI technology that is underlying everything that we are doing here, 
Now I'm going to let my Mine uh, talk more about those uh, and also uh, go over other products that we have created that is using this artificial intelligence technology. Mine, it's all yours. Perfect, thank you, Mike. I'm sharing my screen. Um, and yeah, so as Mart mentioned, we kind of covered all the enhancement work we do, and it does appear like it's magical and we do it all within seconds, but there's a pretty complicated pipeline that we build on the back end to be able to accommodate that. And that's, you know, real estate specific, and we're doing a lot of segmentation and labeling work um, that that's necessary to be able to do um, the enhancements that we showed you. Um, so I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about that. I'm going to try to show you what happens on the back end, just to give you a sense of you know what we're talking about exactly. Um, and I will also cover how some of that segmentation and labeling work is actually relevant for marketing purposes and we, how we made that available for our customers as well. Um, so I'm going to go to this demo environment. So this will be. Um, just to show you a little bit, give you an idea about what we're doing, a more manual part of the process, but we've kind of automated all of that and I will explain what I mean by that. So I just drag and dropped this image of the living room. Here you see a one bedroom um, photo and I would like to do some enhancements on this image, right? This looks pretty nice, but there's a lot of improvements that I can do. Um, and it might also be a style transfer, um, you know, issue that uh, that Mark kind of covered. Um, so I will address all of those in in this example. So this is my main image, and then on the right side at the bottom, I have this reference image that I'm using. So this is the this is one we used for one of our recent clients. I'm just going to use it for my purposes here. Um, so as you can tell that there are stylistic differences between these two photos, and I want to make sure that the new photo matches this reference photo I have. And this might be, you know, this photo was taken by a different photographer at a different time. Just stylistically, it looks different, right? Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do select, and then I'm able to choose different objects and parts of the room by just clicking on them. And what I'm doing here is let's say, you know, if this was a manual process, I basically selected everything, but the view from the window and the couch, because I wanna keep them as they are, and I'm gonna change things on the others. Um, so I'll just use the slider to show you how that filter might work. So you see, you know, the floor, the, the um, I think it's most visible on the floors actually in the carpet a little bit, but you see how the style is changing on the selected side, uh, portions of this photo and you don't really see any changes on the view or the couch. Um, and if I even, you know, if there's something specific I want to exclude, I can do that. Um, yeah, so it, you know, works pretty selectively, it does this like smart selection. Um, so I'm doing that here manually, but in our pipeline, we actually have that uh, implemented already and there's two parts to that. So one is uh, more just kind of detecting the objects and matching the style of those objects to um, what we see in the reference image. And then the other one is um, the, you know, if, you, if I see the view from the window, there's an exterior component to this mostly interior photo and I do different types of enhancements to that. Or if there's a TV or, you know, just different components of the image might require different types of editing. And we kind of had that layer already um, apart from the style matching. Um, so those are the two kinds of um, segmentation and labeling work we do. So what I showed you here is more the object detection side of things, but we also detect initially, obviously, before we do that, we detect, you know, this is a living room. We're able to kind of do that labeling. And we offer that to our clients through our um, classification API. Um, and that classification, the labels that we use for that are pretty useful for multiple you know, use cases. And we've seen people use that for you know, marketing purposes. If they want to, let's say, order their images in a specific order, they want to use the living room first, um, or if they want to show different images to different clients for A-B testing or other types of marketing tests. Um, it's also useful for SEO purposes and uh, or creating captions for images. 
And that's the next thing I'm going to show you, actually, just uh, to give you a little bit of the, you know, idea of how these labels can be integrated into the pipeline. Um, I will just show you something we've we're working on recently. Um, and this is how we use the labels in the classifier to create captions. So here I have an image of a living room. As I said, we kind of do this labeling on the back end. And th with this tool, we're turning that into a caption that you can use automatically feed to your website, to whatever materials that you want to prepare. It automatically tells you, yes, this is a photo of an unfurnished living room. Um, and just to show you one other example of like an odd one, um, it's not just the living room and the kitchen or the bedroom that we identify. We're also able to identify, you know, these like little corners and like specific things that you might have in the house. So this is a utility room and we're able to do that because of the object detection component of our technology. Um, so the caption side of it is, I guess, a more actionable example instantly, but the labeling component is already being used by some of our clients. And this is, you know, we just kind of think of this as part of your complete pipeline for your digital assets and how you automate the way you utilize them. They're especially helpful if you're, you know, dealing with many images in a given day. It might be a marketplace thing. It might be that, you know, you're just updating in information constantly. It just removes all the manual effort that you would be using in these scenarios. All right. Back to my slides. Um, pretty much covered everything on this classifier slide. So I'm going to move on to um, what we're most excited about. <laughs> um, and that's the virtual staging component. Um, so this is the product we're working on right now. Um, and this basically kind of takes into everything I told you about the in terms of the segmentation and labeling. Uh, the in, and enhancements. And on top of that, we're building this uh, portfolio of you know, furnishing that we, we will be able to kind of smartly place to do automated virtual staging. We know this is a big pain point for a lot of people, at a lot of companies, and it's just very manual and very slow right now. Uh, and our goal is to kind of make that super easy for you, how you do enhancements right now the goal is to make virtual staging as easy as uh, you do enhancements. Also decluttering, if you know, if you're, if you're talking about furnished places, that's something else we're thinking about all part of the same pipeline. Um, so if you're interested in this, we would love you to sign up for early access. And that way we can, you know, give you a heads up when it becomes available. You see the link on the slide and um, it would be great to kind of uh, hear from you and just, you know, see who else might have this need um, as we get ready for the launch. Um, so that's it. I, we're going to be around uh, for throughout the conference. So please reach out with any questions through the chat email. Uh, we're around and ready and happy to answer <laughs> any questions and um, any feedback you might have. And as a thank you, uh, we have this discount code. So if you go to the sign up page and use the code UNISU, um, you're going to get a 30% discount on our products and also 100 free API credits that will let you just quickly get started and start testing things and see, you know, which of these offers might be relevant to you. And thank you so much. And we look forward to hearing from you.